All right, so now we're going to start looking at more of the mathsy stuff from statistics. So this video is going to be about the mean, the median, and the mode. So you're probably kind of familiar with these already, but we'll just go over them. So these are all measures of center, because it measures, say, the center of the data. Um, so first we're going to talk about the mean. The mean is the numerical average. Uh, so these are all types of averages. There are three different types, kind of depending on the situation. Some are better than others. So, sorry. The mean is the numerical average. And the way you do it is you add all of the numbers and then you divide by the amount of numbers. So that's best shown, I guess, with an example. So if we have 3, 5, 6, 7, 12, and 14, those are our numbers. And if we want to calculate the mean, just say mean is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 12 plus 14 divided by 6 because there are six numbers altogether. And the mean we'll get is 7.83. So that's sort of the middle value um, when calculated using this numerical average. So generally the mean is written as, so I'll write it up here, x bar. So x bar is equal to 7.83 in this example. So that's just a symbol you'll see quite a lot for the mean. Okay, uh, I'll scroll down and I'll give you some of the uses of the mean there. So there I just typed them out quickly. So the uses for the mean is normally it's used for numerical data. Um, it's, I guess it can only be used for numerical data. And then the disadvantages are that it's affected by outliers or extreme values. So if there's one value that's way off the other one, so say for example, if we add 97, then the mean could come out as something like 26, even though that's really not the middle value of most of the numbers here. So that's an example of an outlier. Um, and there are, there are ways to get around outliers. So the mean is just a bad average to use if you have an outlier. So the next one we're gonna look at is the median. Okay, I'll scroll down and I'll uh, write some notes out on it. So here I drew them out quickly. So the median uh, is sometimes called the middle value. So that's kind of, I guess, what it represents. The median is the middle value of the data. So what you have to do is you have to sort all of the numbers into an ordered list. So it has to be ordered, so from smallest to biggest. And then you look at the middle value from that list. So again, we're gonna use the same numbers for our example. It's gonna be three, five, six, seven, 12, and 14 are our numbers. Uh, so if we want to find the middle value, we kind of split it in two. So I'm going to draw a line there in the middle. So there's three on this side and three on this side. So if there was a middle value, it would take the middle place here. Uh, so sometimes when there are even numbers, then there isn't no exact middle value. So if we want to find the median, we're going to take the average of six and seven. So six plus seven divided by two is going to be 6.5. So that's our value for the median. And so say for example there were more numbers so if we had 3 5 6 7 12 14 and 15 then you'd see that there's three on this side three on this side and that seven would be the median because it is the middle value okay so that's just showing what happens if you have an uh, an odd number so the median is you uh i'll write out some notes from the median so here are the, exa the advantages and disadvantages here. So the main advantage of the median is that it's not affected by outliers. That's something where the mean falls down at uh, and the median is better. And then the disadvantage really is that it's tedious to sort a large list of numbers. So to do this by hand as a trek, if you have a computer, it's not too hard to do, but obviously um, in your exam, you won't have a computer. So depending on the situation, the disadvantage really is that it's tedious. Um, so that's it for the median really. And then for the mode, We'll just talk briefly about the mode. It's kind of the easiest one. So I'll just quickly go through um, the advantages first. So the mode is the most common value. So that's how to find the mode. Uh, the advantage is that it's really easy to find most of the time. The disadvantage is there can be more than one mode or else sometimes there can be no modes. So so I'll show an example. We use pretty much the same list of numbers. Three, five, six, seven. I'm just going to stick two 12s in there. 12, 12, and 14. In this case, it's pretty easy to see that uh, the number 12 is the mode. Okay, so we're gonna look at some graphs later on. So say for example, I don't know, this is our graph, something and something like that. Then you can also tell the mode pretty easily. So if this is occurrences of something. The mode is just the highest point in the graph. So it's really easy to identify on graphs, whereas the mean or the median are really difficult. Yeah, you'd have to look at all the numbers and calculate it. So those are the main three um, yeah, types of averages, the mean, the median, and the mode. Uh, so the last thing I have to talk about really is when to use the mean, the median, and the mode. And I'll just go across to make some space so I can do that. 
um, one second. So here they are here. So when to use the mean, the median, and the mode. So we'll go to the mean first. So the mean generally should use when you have numerical data and there are no extreme values that are going to skew the mean. Okay. Um, so no outliers. Yeah. So just remember that word there because it will come up uh, again and again. No outliers. Then the median. Uh, you can use it with numerical data and it can have extreme values, um, which is kind of its benefit over the mean. So you either use the mean or the median most of the time. Uh, and then the last one then is the mode. So you can use that with numerical or categorical data, which is quite useful. So remember the example we had with say the cars. So we had red, blue, silver, and then green is for the pie charts. Um, if you guys have seen that video, well, silver has 50 cars and the rest of them, see this, this is counting the colors of cars going by. The rest of them have less. So in this case, there's no real mean or median, but the mode is silver. So it's sort of for categorical data, uh, it can be pretty useful because you can use it, I guess you can use the mode where the other ones you can only use for numerical. And then also for graphs, like the example I gave, so this is your graph here. It's really easy to tell that that is the mode right there, but um, you're not quite sure what the mean or the median is. So those are the two benefits of say the mode um, and when you should sort of use them. So yeah, that's all we have for this video, the mean, the median, and the mode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you did, then like and share with your friends. And we'll see you next time where we're going to discuss the mean, the median, and the mode again. We're going to do just some harder examples. So I was just going to introduce them in this video. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.